I'm Dr. Carruthers, Headmaster of Korean Grammar School, and I would like to begin by welcoming everyone, parents, carers, and especially the New Year 8 pupils to Korean Grammar School. Whether your family is already part of the school community, with older siblings at school, or you are a new family to our school, you are all very welcome. We normally hold a meeting for the New Year 8 parents and pupils in June as part of the induction process, but as large meetings remain problematic at the moment, this presentation will deliver all the information you need for August. I would like to reassure parents and pupils that our school and staff are very experienced in ensuring that the transition from primary school to grammar school is a smooth process and that the necessary pastoral and academic support will be readily available for all our pupils as you make this important transition. From the school's point of view, we are in a different and much better place than this time last year with COVID, and all schools are now well experienced and familiar with operating a range of COVID mitigations as we have done for the last school year. Our priority is everyone's safety at all times, and the school will follow guidelines as they are issued by the relevant government departments and agencies. Detailed guidelines for September 2021 have not yet been issued or updated yet, but this year the main protective measures for Year 8 were regular hand washing and sanitising, classes remained in the same room for most of the school day, each year group had their own playground area and canteen time, and face coverings were required in school buildings. Pupil self-isolation had to happen at various times and we are very well set up to provide online learning for pupils by a wide range of methods if school closure and or self-isolation have to take place again. So when you are completing school forms for us, please make sure all your contact details are accurate because we will need to let you know any changes to the restart arrangements by email, text, Facebook and the school website. Parents have found these communication channels to be important and helpful during the last year and the first important change is that we wish Year 8 to come to school in August as follows. First of all, on Tuesday the 24th of August, all Year 8 pupils are to come to our Lodge Road campus for CAT testing. Then on Thursday the 26th of August and Friday the 27th of August from 9am to 12 noon for induction mornings as previously published. The purpose of the CAT testing or Cognitive Ability Test on the 24th of August is to inform our decisions on Year 8 classes, which will be according to academic ability, as we stated it would be at the time of your applications to school. The CAT tests we used, we used are based on English, maths and practical skills that are all familiar to Year 8 pupils. The tests are taken on a computer and last for about one hour. And there is a table on the school website and in this presentation which shows the time that each primary school group should come to the Lodge Road campus for their CAT test on the 24th of August. And there is also information about CAT tests on our school website. We will then have the new classes ready for pupils first induction day on the 26th of August. Timetable lessons will then begin on Tuesday the 31st of August and we hope to be providing as much of our extracurricular programme as possible by then. So finally, welcome again to Coleraine Grammar School. I wish you all well for the next seven years and I will now hand over to Mrs Smith who will take you through details that parents and pupils need to know for beginning year eight. Please remember to keep an eye on text, email, the school website and school Facebook for any updates as we approach the return to school on the 24th of August and I hope you're able to have a really good summer and I look forward to seeing you all on the 24th of August. Thank you. In this presentation I want to share some key pieces of advice which will be of interest to both parents and pupils as you both prepare for your first year at CGS. Parents, I will be your first point of contact with the school. Should there be any issues, whether pastoral or academic, that you wish to discuss? 
Within our Year 8 community, we have six classes of 26 pupils. As a year group, they have their own toilet areas, locker areas, allocated play area and canteen times. Pupils may be in a class with other people from their primary school, but this cannot be guaranteed. Everyone is making a new start and each pupil will be in a class joining with 25 new friends from a range of different primary schools. Please let us know if you have any concerns about class groupings so that these can be noted before the end of this term. With knowledge, there is opportunity, the motto of Corian Grammar School. Our new Year 8 pupils have wonderful opportunities ahead of them. Opportunities which will enable them to learn new skills and make new friends. We hope that when they join us, they will be ready and willing to make the most of all of these opportunities at CGS. As a school community, we promote respect. Respect for ourselves, for others and for property. And we celebrate the achievements of pupils who display evidence of these core values. Responsibility, equality, self-discipline, perseverance, excellence, commitment and tolerance. Parents, we also hope that you will support us and our core values, our code of conduct as we work hard to provide your child with a quality education. In terms of uniform, we expect correct uniform to be worn and for it to be worn correctly. Parents, please plan ahead when choosing school shoes for your child. Think safety when they are moving about the school building, up and down stairs and along busy corridors. If they struggle with tying shoelaces, Choose a slip-on or a Velcro shoe which they can manage and wear safely. Please consult the uniform policy on the school website for more details. Please also make sure that all uniform and PE and sports kit is clearly named in September. Year 8 will be expected to take responsibility for looking after their own belongings, including these expensive items of kit. When changing in school, they must make sure that they store their belongings carefully in their sports bag or locker so that things don't get lost. In a normal school year, pupils start each day with their form class, registering with their form tutor in their form room. There are six lessons a day, so pupils could be studying up to six different subjects per day. Lessons are usually 50 minutes long and their timetable may have a few double periods for subjects like games, technology and home economics. Every day there will be an assembly and there will also be a 15 minute break time where pupils can purchase snacks in the canteen. The canteen is also open at lunchtime and pupils can buy a hot lunch or order sandwiches. Those pupils who are entitled to free school meals will be provided with a canteen pass. Pupils may also have the opportunity to rent a locker which can be used to store coats, books and PE kits. This year, all Key Stage 3 pupils remained in protective class bubbles and we will know closer to the start of term if a similar arrangement will be operating in the next academic year. Please ensure that your child is well equipped with personal stationery. Many of our pupils find it helpful to purchase a folder for each subject so that they can keep the textbook, notebook and workbook together. This ensures they have all the books they need for class. Make sure these folders are clearly labelled with name and subject. We also encourage our pupils to keep hydrated during the school day as water helps maximise their academic performance. Please make sure your child has their own water bottle with them every day. Pupils are able to visit the toilet facilities at break time and lunch time and we prefer them to do this rather than asking out of class and missing learning opportunities. 
Whilst we recognise the value of mobile phones, particularly for people's safety and for making transport arrangements, please be aware that mobile phones are not to be used during the school day and they should not be used to take photos or record videos in school. Pupils will be made aware of the regulations when they start in August and we ask that parents respect our policy too. Pupils should not be texting or contacting parents directly throughout the school day. If a pupil feels unwell, they should notify their class teacher who will ask the school office to make contact with home. This causes less worry and distress for all concerned. Parents, if you need to get an urgent message to your child, this can be relayed through the school office and the same procedure applies if a pupil wishes to contact a parent. Whilst we recognise that illnesses do happen, please encourage your child to achieve a high level of attendance. When pupils are absent, they miss valuable learning opportunities as well as fun with their friends. At CGS, we use Google Classroom as a tool to help absent pupils keep up and it is each pupil's responsibility to catch up on the work they miss if they are absent from school for any reason. A wide range of extracurricular activities normally operates throughout the school year, and we have been delighted to be able to restart our after-school sports programme this term. Some clubs may take place at lunchtime and others may be after school. It is important that pupils listen out for announcements in assembly, in registration, and even check posts on Google Classroom and Facebook for the details of what will be happening when and where. Year 8 usually have the opportunity to go on trips and visits with subject departments, play learning games in class, and do charity fundraising through a variety of activities. And we do hope that these activities will be happening again soon. After school sports normally take place on the Lodge Road campus, for example, Table Tennis Club. But there may also be off-campus opportunities for things like golf and our surf club, which usually runs in the month of June at Benone Strand. Parents. In Year 8, you play a key role in establishing a good homework routine. And this is essential so that your child learns to take responsibility for their own learning. Although your child is now starting big school, they will still need help in the early days, particularly with developing their organisational skills. As a school community, we really appreciate your support. You will receive three formal reports throughout the year and you can expect two formal parent-teacher consultations during year eight. A pastoral meeting with the form tutor in the autumn term and then an academic meeting with subject teachers later in the year. Within the current COVID-19 situation, alternative arrangements may have to be made to facilitate these and we will know more about this when the next academic year begins. If you have any concerns or feel your child is struggling, either pastorally or academically, please let us know. The sooner we know about it, the sooner we can try and solve the problem and provide additional support as necessary. During the induction days in August, Pupils will spend time getting to know the other pupils in their form class and, and their registration tutor. This is the teacher who will be their pastoral support through their first year at CGS. Pupils will get a lot of information in the first few days and may initially find things a bit overwhelming. This is perfectly normal and things will settle down quickly in the first few weeks. Encourage your child to ask questions if they are unsure. And remember, there are lots of people in the CGS community who want to help them find their feet.
Thank you so much for taking time to watch this presentation. We look forward to meeting Year 8 in August. Please get in touch any further questions. Thank you. In Corian Grammar School, we strive to look after all our pupils' learning needs. We have a very experienced group of staff in place to assist with this. Both the learning support team and the pastoral team who work very closely together. The most effective way to do this is in communication with parents and carers. Therefore, if your son or daughter has had any kind of support in primary school for their learning, whether that has been for literacy, numeracy or social and emotional needs, please advise us of this on the form in your pack and return it to us. If your son or daughter had an IEP in primary school or withdrawal support of any kind, please advise us of this and include a copy of their most recent IEP in the paperwork. Similarly, if your son or daughter has ever had any support from external agencies, such as Educational Psychology, the ASD Service, CAMS or otherwise, please include those details on the form too. Even if you think your son or daughter no longer needs support, please give us any of the details anyway, so that I am aware and we can monitor the pupil if needs be. Medical needs should be included on a separate form, but if a pupil's medical needs affect their learning, then please include it on the SEN paperwork too. Even if your child has no SEN, please just sign and date the form in your pack and return it, so we have a record. Thank you in advance for your help with this. In previous years, I've been able to meet with New Year 8 parents in June to start to draft IEPs if they are needed. This year, with restrictions in place, we may be unable to do that. Therefore, I'll make calls to the relevant parents in June instead. Then hopefully at a later date in September, we'll be able to meet face to face. As the year progresses, we have systems in place to help monitor pupils and staff feed back to me in case there are any learning or emotional needs that become apparent. Again, the LS team will communicate with parents if and when these needs arise. Please do not hesitate to contact me via email if you have any queries and I'll try to help. In conjunction with SEN, but not exactly the same, is support we make available for pupils who might display a need for some short-term support in one particular area. Year 8 will engage in a suite of GL assessments that are usually carried out during the first term. Pupils will often have had experience of a similar style of assessment in primary school. They provide subject teachers with baseline information so they can best support the pupils in the classroom. Following these assessments, pupils may be offered additional support in a range of areas including literacy, numeracy and mentoring to help support, stretch and challenge as required. Approximately 30 Year 8 pupils benefited from this support last year. Parents and pupils will be informed about these assessments happening ahead of time. Just be aware that no revision is required for these and more information can be found on the GL Assessment website.